Nagesh from Miss Time Garden. Thank you so much for stopping today. Today, the fourth card using the same stamp set, Hot Felt, from the Stampin' Up uh, From My Heart suit. I'm going to use the Designer Series paper and Thick Whisper White cardstock as my base card today. Let me show you how I'm just cutting my base card. I'm just keeping the measurements from exactly 14.8 centimeter. All the measurements will be available at my blog. This is the base of our card. I just cut the A4 card stuck into exactly half. And then the next one, I'm just going to cut exactly 2.5 centimeter away. 2.5 centimeter. Trim that out. Get exactly one inch. Just keep that aside. Now I'm going to score my card at exactly 10.5 centimeter. All right, it's done. Fold it nicely. Because this is the thick cardstock, use your hands or bone folder. Once done, keep this piece aside. I'm going to punch the heart using the um, heart punch from the same heart from a heart suit, the scallop punch. Once punched out, I'm going to stamp this image using the real red ink. It's done. And the next step, I'm just getting the scrap piece of Whisper White, just cleaning my stamp using my chamois. The next step, I'm just using the Floaty Flamingo ink, stamping the same image twice in Whisper White cardstock, the basic one, not the thick cardstock. Next, a fussy cutter image using the scissor. I already done to save time. And I am just using the doily, hot doily, flirty flaming hot doily. Just using stamping dimension on the back side. Stick these two pieces together. And I'm just using the um, hot gems from the same suit. Just attaching using the glue, Tombow multipurpose glue. All the details about the products and the measurements of the cards details are available in the description below. I'm ready to stick the pieces to the base card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment love on a normal whisper white cardstock using the ink Flirty flamingo. Done. I'm going to attach all the designer series paper. This is the same paper but on the opposite side from the hot one. Stick the small piece in the front and for the inside I'm just applying glue only on the bottom section. Leave the top section so because I'm just going to use the gift card holder here. I'm just um, attaching the sentiment in the middle. And next piece for inside. Top. If you want, you can attach. If not, just leave it. I like the card better in this way. Let me show you the gift card holder using a normal uh, cardstock. You can stamp your sentiment here or just leave it. This is the real red ribbon. Just attach like this. I think it's a little bit longer. I just need to trim off some. Before that I just want to 
um, arrange everything and I have a look is everything is okay. I am arranging all the pieces together without pressing hard because if you, if you press hard means the hard to take the um, anything with the stamping dimensional because it's very strong. So I'm just arranging, have a look. If I'm happy, I will press it hard. Looks like I need to trim some ribbon because it's looked a little bit longer. Now I am happy, so I'm just pressing it hard so it won't come out. And the next one, I'm just uh, adding some Wink of Stella, just to simmer to the um, heart. For inside, uh, I forgot to stamp the sentiment inside. This one is so lucky to have a friend. I just added some ink there accidentally. No worries, we can rub it off using a tool. The mono eraser, it's really, really a very handy tool. Yeah, look, it's clear now. Our today's card is ready. I like to show you guys another card which I made using the white ribbon, but it's a birthday version. If someone asked me to do it. This is the matching envelope which I created for this card. I like the Valentine version of the card compared to the birthday one. I don't know what's your favorite in these two cards. I like to show a few other cards using the same design as series paper but with a different sentiment. This is the birthday card um, with the same uh, DSP and the inside. I just punch the normal real red cardstock and keep it inside. This one I already um, put a video but this version I just added uh, the glimmer paper inside. I feel better in this way. And the next one is a very simple card using only the design series paper as my focal point. But I used a different sentiments like a celebration, happy birthday like that this one I love it actually I just used a granny apple green cardstock hope you have some different ideas after watching this video let me know what you think of these cards in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell icon next to it see you soon with the better videos until then it bye from again see you bye